Welcome to Rolling Greasy, everybody. So, I'm gonna fix the shifter on my 1989 Ford F-150, and it is really floppy and sloppy, and it really makes shifting uh, fun. And the reason for that is, it's under here, all the plastic bushings that hold the shifter on are broke, and this is the all that's left of it. Um, so I went to the junkyard and got a set and an extra shifter boot, but I really don't need it, it's just extra. So, uh, I kind of wanted to do a quick video just to show how this goes on, and it will go on exactly how it's, it's pulled apart. So, it's four pieces, and basically there's grooves on each side of the, the shifter rod, and you take one of these, and I remember that from the junkyard, the bottom one had this little piece of plastic flash on it from when they made it. And basically you're going to slide it on with these clips up on this one. So it can be <clears throat> kind of challenging to get on, but just slide that. Come on. It's uh, it can be a little hard to do because it's going to want to clip into... Um, these top clips first so you got to slide this down and around I'm probably gonna have to get a screwdriver All right so I've been working on this one a little bit and I just got a flat blade screwdriver and I've been tapping down on both sides working it down and it will get stuck on these notches this one's a little bit stuck on the notches right now but I'm just tapping it by and one thing I did before I started putting this on is see, find a, here's a new one is uh, these back parts, if you take the screwdriver, and not super hard, but just kind of chamfer that with the screwdriver like that on both sides, it will help it slide past these notches, which is what I did on this one. And I'm just gently chamfing it down because I do not want to break it. And there it goes. All right. I'm going to have to get by. Well, I actually want it to lock into this one, so once this pops down in, oops, it just did. I need to go a little more on this side. Oh, it just popped past it, so I'm going to run it up. And that should be about it right there. Because this sits in there like so. Should be like that right there yeah like that so basically you'll pull down and you'll feel it stop again and you won't be able to push it past anymore and you don't want to you want these little tabs to grab the bottom of this so that you can set that like that and see these little there's a little tiny um uh what are they dimples and those dimples fit where those dimples were like that so that sets just like that can see it hope everybody can see it and then I'm gonna put that one on there like that that's how that would go and then I have the other one right here and then you want this one on the other side and you want these like this with the this little circle on the left and right side because that locks into these circles on this side and this side of the shifter okay so now take this guy and put it over the top so you're not gonna put it the same way you put that one I'm going to put this one the opposite way and slide it over and then it should, oh there it goes, it clicked in. Alright, so bottom's clicked in, yep, top's clicked in, the two sides are on, and now I'm going to take this, my shifter, make sure one and three are at the top, and you're just going to slide it down over these plastic pieces and it might fight you a little but hold this plastic one on the bottom and kind of beat on it and uh, it's it's gonna fight you it's, it's not gonna be nice and you're probably gonna have to climb into the truck Get my coffee cup out of here 
and push down on it pretty hard to get it to actually go on. I'm probably actually going to get a, a hammer and uh, something soft to put on here and uh, tap this on. Alright, so I've been pushing on a little bit while longer. I couldn't find a soft mallet, which was what you'd probably want uh, with a piece of plastic on top. And I've, I'm making progress. So, if I just get on it and push, I'm slowly pushing it down. Oh, I'm almost there. Uh, whew, getting closer. Maybe I straddle it. Let's put it in neutral. <clears throat> Ooh, it's so close. Oh, man. Oh, that hurts the hand. All right, so I got a welding glove I'm going to fold in half and a hammer. I'm just going to try tapping it on. I think that's working. Oh, yeah. That's working. Oh. It is almost there. I'm starting to see the dot. The plastic pieces. I'm not hitting this very hard. I'm just tapping it. So I don't want to actually damage the shifter. And we actually went a little past. Pull on it. Oop. I think. <clears throat> That is a little bit past where it's supposed to be. Pop it on the other side. Oh, I think it's a little bit past. Yep, it went a little bit past it, so I gotta pull it back up. All right, so I'm gonna try to take a pry bar and push up on this a little bit and just get it where it needs to be. I can get the pry bar up in there. It's almost there. It does not want to go. Actually moving the whole transmission up and down, which is kind of ridiculous. I actually think it's almost there. This little red thing is almost in the circle. Let me push on this corner. Get it in third. I'm going go third. Alright, keep it in first. There we go. And it went. Alright, so I just had to pry up on a little bit and actually it might be a tad high. Let me get up here and just gently tap on it to get it to pop down. See where it's at. And it looks like I might have went a little bit too far again. So let's gently push. Alright, so I tapped on it with my hammer and my glove one more time. And just to show everybody, the red circle is perfectly centered with the uh, the metal shifter. So that's, uh, and this indent is on both sides and that's what locks the shifter in. Now to get this apart, if you ever want to get one of these apart, like say you're to a junkyard and you want to take a shifter or get at these uh, plastic retaining sleeves, you take, uh, let me see, two Phillips screwdrivers. And you need a buddy because you need um, basically one person to take a screwdriver to each side and on both sides push this in. And by pushing that in, you can see it, it pushes in. You disengage it from locking into this hole. Again, both sides, so this way and that way, while your buddy pulls on this. It'd be really hard to do by yourself. Um, 
you might be able to make a special pair of pliers or something to do it but it's just easier to take two Phillips screwdrivers push one direction from each side and then have a buddy pull the shifter off and uh that's basically it all right so i got my sheet metal cover down in there and i'm just gonna tuck the boot down around in there for now it's not really installed correctly but i'm just gonna tuck the boot under the carpet and yeah i got this other little booty tucked around the shifter and the ball just so key yeah, kind of keep dirt out of that uh the big ball joint down there that the shifter sits in i'm just gonna tuck this in here it's best i can because it probably won't go down in here perfectly or really stay that well but oh well all right i got the shifter on and uh I got the boot all tucked away. I had to do this. It's kind of ghetto. It's what the last owner did. They put a drywall screw there with a washer into the boot and it just holds it there. But it's keeping it tucked away. It's ugly. I'm going to try to forget about it, but I probably won't and I'll end up fixing it, um, which will be a pain in the butt. But there it is. And she ain't floppy no more. Yep. And nice and crisp there. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. You don't want floppy shifter. You sure don't. You want nice, smooth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put that in reverse. All right. So as always, stay rolling greasy, and I hope this video helped you guys. Later. They see me rolling greasy.